Welcome to Life of Gaz. If you're new to the channel, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring that bell because I have a new sea fishing video every Wednesday and then the second Saturday of every month, I'll put a fresh water video on as well. Well, hey guys, welcome to Life of Gaz. And today I've decided to come back out to Rossall. It's been producing well the last few times I've been up here and I couldn't resist coming back again. So it's a little bit calmer tonight, uh, it's easterly, the sea's relatively flat, uh, there's a couple of little rollers right in at the edge of the shore, but nothing further out. So hopefully that's not going to affect the fishing too much, and we are going to see some fish tonight. So true to what I've been using up here the last few times, I've got the uh, clip down panel just there with the rattler bead, and then I've got the suet flapper rig just here as well. And I'm going to stick them both out there. I'm staying with the two at flapper rig. It's not been the most successful in the last couple of sessions, but it is a bit calmer tonight and that flapper rig can come into its own in weather like this. So guys, I've just thrown the rods out there. Now, the last couple of times I've been out here, most of the fish I've caught have been caught out at distance. I had a couple of cod on the bank, uh, just coming up to high water after the whiting have finished. But tonight, to start with, what I'm gonna do is just throw them out as far as I can. If I don't get any bites, then I'll start bringing them back in. If it goes quiet at any point, then I'll bring one in and leave one out. But for now, that's the tactic we're going with, and let's hope it produces. Well guys, that's the first cast. I've had a couple of little tiny twitchy bites and a bait comeback strip, so it shows me there's probably some white in about out there. So um, what I'm going to do is just keep with it and stay out there, but I'm not sure what it shows up like on the camera, but I've got some reflective tape on the top of my rod tips, 
So I hope you guys can see the rod tips a little bit better up there. I predicted there is a couple of white in about. I've just managed to pull one in. So obviously it shows there's uh, just a little white in feeding out there. So what we'll do is we'll just keep going through them and uh, we'll have fun pulling a few of them in hopefully. And if they dry up, maybe some bigger, better fish are gonna start turning up. Maybe some cod or some bass.
guys, so far we've had a couple of white in and a couple of dogfish and not a lot else. But we're just coming on to high tide, which isn't normally a good sign if the white are still about at high tide. That means generally the bass and the cod might not come in. But on the plus side, the last two times I've been here, I've had bass at high tide. So what I'm going to do is get back to my rod tips and uh, cross my fingers. Well guys, we've been getting deeper into the ebb and the whiting have cleared up finally and I've just pulled in a 46 centimetre, two pounds, uh, five ounce cod. So I'm well happy with that to finish the session on. I'm going to throw them back out and I'm going to give it about another half an hour, but if this is all I get, I'm going to be quite happy.
Well guys, we got there in the end. It's easterly, so I wasn't expecting fireworks tonight, but I managed to pick up that nice cod. Stuart's had one as well, so happy days there as well. But if you've liked this episode, make sure you hit the subscribe button down here. Check out my latest fishing video over there and my sea fishing playlist up top.